Hi, I'm David from Madeline Hicks Real Estate. And I just wanted a quick word with you about how we can help you to maximise the profitability of your investment property by invoicing tenants for some or all of their water usage. Some of you may not even know that this is possible and you may have been paying for someone else's water usage costs. In some cases it isn't possible, such as unit buildings which are not individually metered for their water supply, but if your property is individually metered then the terms of the tenancy agreement can be drafted uh, such to state that the tenants can be liable for their water usage costs. The next thing to ask is does the property have a valid water efficiency certificate? If the answer is yes, then the lease can be written to state that the tenants can be liable for 100% of their water usage costs. But if the answer is no, then the lease can state that the lessor will pay a reasonable amount such as 30 kilolitres per quarter and the tenant will pay for any usage in excess of this amount. There's no legislation around what that amount should be, uh, but we'll just have a discussion with you, the landlord, and have an agreement on what's suitable based on things such as the number of occupants going into the property. We can organise a plumber to attend the property and test for water efficiency. They look at things such as flow rate of your taps, your showers, uh, your toilet systems, things like that. And if no changes need to be made to the property, the cost will be around $120, $130. Quite often something small may need to be done, such as a restrictor on a tap head. Um, but sometimes in older properties, something like a toilet system might need to be replaced, uh, going from single flush to a dual flush system. You might ask me why would I pay to fix something that isn't broken? With the average water usage in a Brisbane household being about $120 per quarter, if you're not charging the tenant for their usage, then you're paying that $120 per quarter for someone else's water usage. Instead, if you spend a bit of money making sure the property is water compliant, before long you'll have made your money back and will no longer be paying for someone else's water usage costs, potentially saving you hundreds of dollars per year. It is still the landlord's responsibility to provide a functioning water supply and sewerage to the property, so those costs on your own utilities bill cannot be passed on to the tenant, but by invoicing the tenant for their water usage portion of the utilities bill, that's a key way that you can maximise the profitability of your investment property. Simply send us your urban utilities or unity water bill each quarter and we can do the rest. Please give us a call at Madeline Hicks Real Estate if you have any questions or if you would like us to help maximise the profitability of your investment property.